Shingella faxinaria is one of the most lethal bacteria in nature, kills more than a million people each year. This notorious bacteria belongs to the genus Shingella, and just like all other four species, they can cause serious diarrhea. Nowadays, one of the most urgent threats of this bacteria is their antibiotic re resistance characteristic. This includes resistance to most of the broad spectrum antibiotics, such as ampicillin, or even other important antibiotics. Hence, the de development of efficient treatment against Shingella faxinaria has become an important issue. In 2016, scientists bring a new idea on treating this bacteria, using another bacteria as a predatory to eat Shingella faxinaria, Bondylovibrio. Bacterial virus is one of the bacteria that able to hunt gram-negative bacteria in an efficient manner. As most of the disease-caused bacteria are gram-negative, Bondylovibrio have a great potential to hunt Shingella in vivo and act as a treatment. But of course, things can get complicated in vivo. For example, do Bondilo vibrio bring harm to host if we simply inject those bacteria to host. Will, uh, will it still able to clear pathogen efficiently in vivo compared with those in nature environment? In order to answer these questions, an experiment was conducted by using zebrafish as a model, injected both bacteria to see the outcome. Researchers first inject the hind brain of zebrafish with bondylo vibrio expressing red fluorescence. Living cell image showed most of the color gradually disappear within 24 hours. Although there are still some bacteria left, the survival rate of predatory bacteria was 100%, which is different from other control groups shown here, with only Shingella injecting expressing large amount of green fluorescence over time. Results suge suggest Bondilo vibrio have no adverse effect on the host and neither be eliminated by host immune system in a very short time before it actually started to hunt Shingella. Further experiment could carry on with both bacteria injected into zebrafish. But compared with control groups, Zebrafish with Bondilo vibrio injected have a clear decrease of Shingella and a high, higher survival rate after 72 hours. During this process, immune system of host, including microphage and neurofil, also play an important role. Not only to detect the presence of Bondilo vibrio and kill them, but also helping them with the elimination of Shingella. Following experiment with the injection of both bact bacteria in the host with low immunity show a lower survival rate. Researchers suggest there are also some co uh, cooperations between bundle vibrio and the host. Mm -hmm. It can eliminate the infection at early stage and decrease the workload for host immune system. There are three main phases of the life cycle of this bacteria. The first phase is the attack phase. The predator locates the prey and collects with the prey cell wall through chemotoxis. Um, the attachment of the predator to the prey, which lead to the penetration of the predator to the periplasmic space through a pore. Um, the second phase is the intracellular growth phase. The invasion of the prey leads to the Morphological change and the formation of balloplastids. The predator make use of the hydrolytic enzyme to break down the prey's nutrients for consumption and growth. In the final attack phase, the predator replication and septation occur upon depletion of the prey nutrients, leading to new progenies. The prey lies and the new progenies escape, and they are ready to attack the next victim. Although the experiment worked out in fish brain, things can get complicated in vivo. 
There are potential threats to apply this treatment in human bodies. Firstly, human nervous system is not as simple as fish brain. If the same uh, treatment was done in human brain, will the remaining remaining bacteria have potential threats to nerve system? And also, um, the bacteria may destroy ecological community of commensal. Uh, symbiotic and pathogenic microorganisms in human, like it does. Although there aren't any application of these bacteria on clinical purpose, there are several applications of these bacteria already, including use in sewage water treatment, the oral antimicrobial agent in mouthwash, and it also can attack metabolically inactive biofilm.